Note that one box sensor has to be placed on each conveyor in order to perform the following steps. Let's start by inserting a palletizer node inside and if condition for the left pallet. Do the same thing for the right pallet. Box A and box B will be the status of each box sensor. Once done, we will complete the palletizer node steps for the first box type which is box A, that we will be picking on the left conveyor, and palletizing on the left pallet. Go to the box section, we first have to enter the dimensions of box A as well as its payload. Now, we will teach the grip position. We will teach the box position just above box A. Let's go back to the main interface, and go to the pallet section. Box A will be palletized on the left pallet, so we will enter the left pallet dimensions. Select the left pallet. Go back to the main interface, and go to the pattern section. For this tutorial, we will do pattern A only. We will create a simple pattern. Now it's done, let's go back and enter the number of layers. Let's go back to the main interface of the palletizer node to reach the settings section to select the box presence input. You can modify other settings if needed. What's left is finishing the programming of the grip and release. To do so, let's add a vacuum grip and a vacuum release command. robot will now pick A boxes on the left conveyor and palletize them on the left pallet. We need to follow the same steps for the second type of box which is box B, that we will be picking on the right conveyor, and palletizing on the right pallet. Go to the box section, we first have to enter the dimensions of box B, as well as its payload. Now, we will teach the grip position. We will teach the position just above box B. Let's go back to the main interface, and go to the pallet section. Box B will be palletized on the right pallet, so we will enter the right pallet dimensions. Select the right pallet. Go back to the main interface, and go to the pattern section. We will still do pattern A only, and create a simple pattern. Now it's done, let's go back and enter the number of layers. Let's go back to the main interface of the palletizer node to reach the settings section to select the box presence input. You can modify other settings if needed. Let's finish these steps by programming the grip and release. Let's add a vacuum grip and a vacuum release node. The robot will now pick B boxes on the right conveyor and palletize them on the right pallet. The program is now completed. To sum up, the program structure is composed of two palletizer nodes. One node is used for the left pallet and the other for the right pallet. Each node is placed under a separative condition. The left node is executed only if the input box is box A. The right node is executed only if the input box is box B. Let's start the program.